bikes, and there they go. 28 motorbikes are scooting around the course here at the Los Angeles Coliseum right now. And it looks to be the 57 bike of Jim Chamberlain with the lead. As they go over the triple jump on the far side, I tell you, it looks like a caterpillar crawling across my lawn, Marty. Well, they're going an awfully lot quicker than your caterpillar. Well, they head to the peristyles for the first time. They duck under the arches, and they bank a hard right turn. Look how they all plant their right foot to dig into it. And they come down. Chamberlain has opened up a very big lead, about 20 to 30 feet, as they go to the switchback area. And all of them hit the right-hand throttle as they fly into the peristyle and into the arches one more time. I'm trying to pick up uh, the, the Boland brothers, and it looks like uh, one of them has moved up into third. got to get a shot of the, the bike number. It's uh, Tyson or Talon, that's for sure. It is Tyson Boland. He has moved up into third spot already, and we haven't even completed one lap. So it's Chamberlain with the lead, but here come a couple of Kawasaki's knocking right on his back door. Brian Pryor in second place, Tyson Bolin in third. But Chamberlain throttles it out and walked away with the lead. Here's the race for second and third. That's Tyson Bolin now having moved into second place. He is closing in on the leader. He's going to take it right here, Marty, before they even hit the peristyles. I got a feeling he's going to overtake Chamberlain, but no, Chamberlain throttles out of it. He won't let Tyson in on this thing. Into the arches, they go one more time. Let's watch what happens outside. Tyson Boland trying to put the right foot down. Chamberlain won't let him in. They hit the midsection of the peristyles. This time it's a hard left turn. Look at Bolton Tyson trying to make it in there, but he won't let him happen. Oh, wait a minute. We're on board here again. Is this Ward? Yes, it is. Yep, that's our on-bike camera. Ward Ward. It's actually on his chest, and that's the view that he is uh, getting as he tries to keep his body uh, stable and low. And Less aerodynamic, more aerodynamic, I should say. Tyson Bolin trying to make a move on Jim Chamberlain. Chamberlain has held the lead now for two laps. His uh, throttles roll. Here he comes. And Tyson overtakes him on the jump. Just like that. Tyson Bolin into the lead. Chamberlain drops back into second place. Talon Bolin, brother Talon, is in fourth place. Knocking on the door for third. This could end up being the, the Tyson and Talon show again. This could be a bigger knockout than the real Tyson fight. We'll have to sit back and look and see. But nonetheless, there he is on the far side of the course. Tyson Bolin, he was the winner in heat number one, and he's opening up a big, big lead right now as he goes into the arches. Talon Bolin has snuck into second place as he went up inside on the upward leg of the peristyle. So it is brother against brother right now. Tyson and Tolan are going at it. I guarantee you they will be perfectly happy to finish 1-2. And uh, just like they did in the heat race, they'll put on a great show for everybody. You remember at the heat race, they pull side by side with each other, and after it was over, they reach over and shook each other's hands. Two brothers going at it here at the Mickey Thompson Off-Road Championship Grand Prix at the Los Angeles Coliseum. We have six laps remaining. This was a nine-lap main event. Boy, a big, big night for Kawasaki if they can pull this off. This is a battle for third and fourth. It's still Chamberlain in there. Chamberlain, who had the lead for the first two laps. And Brian Pryor is the other driver, rider on the machine out there. In fact, trying to put the move on the inside. Can't do it. Now oh. we're back on board. And, oh. Get, oh. get the Alka-Seltzer. Makes you seasick. Just while they're on the triple jumps, here comes another, oh, oh, and another one. And, oh, that makes you just sick. And then they hit for the peristyles, nonetheless. Oh, hang on, everybody. There's Tyson Bolin, the leader, on the number four. Kawasaki right now. Kawasaki. No, notice right he on. took a look over his left shoulder to check what was going on behind him. He knows that's his brother back there. And as long as that's the case, he knows he doesn't have too much to worry about because as long as they finish 1-2, they will be ecstatic. And that's how they are right now. Tyson Bolin, Tallinn Bolin, running one and number two. And the Kawasaki is pulled into third place also. Kawasaki's are running one, two, and three at the Mickey Thompson right now. Five laps remaining. Tyson continues to open up the lead on his brother Tallinn. These are 250cc machines. Look at the air that they get on the far side. This is what the crowd loves when the Air Force goes into effect at the Mickey Thompson. The third jump is the smallest because they have to set up as they power down for the arches. Back on board with the Gordon Ward. Look how bumpy it is out there. That's the far side of the course again. Watch the acceleration this young man gets out of that Kawasaki motorcycle as he heads for the arches, and he's outside. One more time, he'll drop down the middle section of the peristyle. He has one half lap remaining about this point. Plants the left foot, powers down, and heads back on up the peristyle. 
His brother now catching up to him. It's almost like Marty oh. wants him near him again. Look at the show he put on there. He did a wheel stand going up the peristyle. Well, here he comes down the peristyle for the last time at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Tyson Bowen will make the same line through that far turn. He's calling his brother upside of him again, Marty. He's going to let him finish him near him. It is Tyson and Tolan Bowen. And look at he does a wheel stand as he comes down the final stretch. And brother and brother again finish number one and number two. And I would imagine they'll go over and shake hands one more time, high-fiving each other on their bikes. I guarantee you, Kawasaki's going to be looking at some of those pictures to turn into some promotional spots because that's... A, you can't, you can't plan it better than that. I smell a poster. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>